Hi everyone, in today's video, I will show you one more thing, which is what are these UV0 and UV1 settings in the ribbon render and how we can leverage this to use different tiling modes and different UV modes actually in the ribbon. So this is just a emitter where I have used a spawn rate as 10 and a linear velocity in the X direction. And I have made a material which is an unlit translucent and I'm just applying an arum texture, like I can arrow right and a texture coordinate which is zero. And I have made it, I have put it in the level and I can just replay it again with this. I'll use the material which I made here, which is um, um, ribbon, and I will save it. So by default, if we check, it comes like it's stretching over the whole length of the ribbon, which is correct. If I generate the wireframe mode, you can see this. I go to the ribbon, and I can change it from here in the UV zero settings by uniform scale by segment, which will be probably the same. Or uh, something like tile by segment depth and save it. Yes, let's see. You can see it is styling by segment length. So by default, when we apply the UV, it is non-uniform scale by total length. And then when we change it to tile by segment length. So if we have any tiling texture, we can use this UV mode. But now if we want to apply, a, let's say an opacity map where it is fading over its whole lifetime. But let me show you how. I'll just take an, another texture, which is, which can be basically, I mean, remap texture. Yeah, I have a remap texture. So I'll use this same texture coordinate and I'll try to apply this in opacity. It doesn't need all three channels, it's okay, but yeah. If I apply the same thing, it will apply on each tiling mode. So how we can leverage this second UV1 settings is to actually change the coordinate of this opacity texture, which we implemented. So I will just change it to one, which basically what we'll do is it will stretch over the whole lifetime of the ribbon, which is like this. And you can use any power nodes also. Power and just change it. I'll show you here. Power three. I can see. You can see how much it is changing. So, yeah. This is how we can use these UV sets in the ribbon by using different tiling modes and different stuff we can use. I'll add few links which help me making these things.